Hey y'all, so let's go ahead and just get started because I know this will be a long video. <laughs> um, so I think the first thing I'm going to do is probably my face. I did my brows off camera obviously, so I think I'm going to jump into my face or do I want to jump into my eyes? I'll do my face first. Yeah, let's do the face. Alright, so please excuse my hair y'all. I'm in the middle of working on this. Okay, once I, you know, do the whole glam, it's going to look all good, okay? So for eye patches, I'm going to grab this Milk Makeup Eye Patches, and these are amazing, amazing. I think this is like my last one, or I have one more left, and it's all done. So I love these things a lot, especially when I look tired. I always look tired, but like these help me. I feel like it's like coffee underneath my eyes, and they're so sticky. I love these stuff. I love it. Oh, they feel so good underneath the eyes, y'all. Sometimes you can get it a little too close. I don't like it too close to my eyeball because it feels kind of funky. So all you gotta just uh, just take it off and then put it back on and it's going to stick there. Mm -hmm. Actually, how long does it say to keep it on? 10 to 15 minutes. Oh, baby girl, I ain't got time for that. So I'm going to keep these on for 10 to 15 minutes. Actually, 10 minutes because I ain't got time for that 15 minute. And we're just going to let it sit for a minute and we're going to take them off. So I decided I'm going to grab this Olay Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream just to, you know, smooth out my under eye so I don't have any creases and also to prep my under eye as well. If you don't do that, you should definitely consider doing that before applying your makeup. I find it, it looks a lot better, especially for my concealer. I am that type of girl who always get creases. So putting eye cream, eye brightening cream, any type of cream underneath my eyes, it just gives it a nice little base and smooth base to apply my concealer with. A little trick for y'all, okay? So I would just put this on here with my ring finger. Y'all, I have really learned a lot over the years when I've been doing my makeup, what works with me, what doesn't work. You know, just discovering a lot of new tricks. Um, that's something I always tell somebody, like when it, you are getting into makeup, you just have to play with it as much as you can so then you kind of, you know, feel what works best for your skin and what you like and how you like your makeup application. So for primer, I'm going to grab this Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. Shake it up a little bit. You know what's crazy? I did not know that they had like a primer spray. I thought this was just a setting spray, but you can use this as a setting spray as well and a primer spray. So I'm going to use two primers today, um, so bear with me, okay? Um, actually, no. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab this for Sarli first. This is the Liquid Glass Radiance Make Skin Serum. So this is not a primer, but it's a serum. So I don't know how I feel about this quite yet. You could use it as a primer. Um, a lot of people use it as a primer, but I'm going to use it as like one of those bases first for my skin because my skin feels so dry right now. And then I'm going to use this Too Faced Hangover Setting Spray to lock everything all in. So yeah, I don't use this that much. I find myself not using it a lot. And it's not like I hate it. I actually like everything from First Sarley. Mm, but I just gotta like find a way to use this and like for me to see a difference onto my skin. But it is a serum, so I guess I can start using it as one of my skincare routines. But I don't know, we'll see. I've seen a lot of people use this as like a no makeup makeup look and then they use this as like a primer. I think that is like the best way to use this and for your skin to look like skin and if to look like glass that's the only way I could say I would use this um, you know so then it can look like glass skin but overall I don't use it as much and I need to start using it but I mean we got a glow okay so it gave me like a glow and I'm feeling it very lightweight. I like it. It's a little sticky, but I kind of like that. So then once I put my foundation, my foundation has something to stick on. Oh, it's actually pretty sticky. I like it though. Okay, now I'm going to grab my Too Faced setting spray and primer. And I feel like this is going to lock everything in. So once I put the foundation, everything is just going to sit on my skin and like be locked in. So for foundation, I'm going to grab this YSL 24 hour wear flawless matte full coverage foundation. I have not used this foundation. I think the last time I used this was when I did the, my bridal makeup tutorial. I think that's when the last time I used this. I don't know why I don't use it as much, but it's an amazing, amazing foundation. I think it's because it's so pricey. 
you know, when the foundation is a little pricey, you don't want to keep using it over and over and over again. Only if you're going to a, like a special occasion because you don't want to spend money on something like this all the time when you can use your affordable or, you know, foundation that's a lot less money than this. But I still like this and that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to shake it and I'm just going to put a little bit on my back of my hand and I'm just going to grab my beauty blender and start working this all over my skin. Now this foundation does have a scent to it. I feel like the scent smells like cucumbers. I could you not. If you own this foundation, please tell me what this thing smells like because it smells like cucumbers. Like, yeah, cucumbers are green tea. <laughs> But we're just going to work this all over my skin. I hope this is my shade because, girl, I got a little darker this summer and my tan has not gone away. So we will just make this work. The shade is a little bit off. I feel like it's a little lighter. Yeah, I got a little dark, y'all. I got a little dark this summer. <laughs> I feel like a little does go a long way so you don't have to go super heavy-handed with this foundation. Especially with the beauty blender. And with the beauty blender sucking up a little bit of excess product out of it, it still gives me that full coverage look that I want. Okay, so for concealer, I am going to use this Huda Beauty Overachiever concealer. And to contour, I'm going to use the same concealer. And this is in the shade Maple Syrup to contour and to conceal peanut butter. I love these concealers, but I do not like the freaking packaging. Ugh, I kind of wish it was like the dip, the stick kind of thing and not like, y'all gonna see, y'all gonna see. Okay, so I'm going to start with concealer. I'm gonna do the same and just put like some product in the back of my hand. Now this concealer is thick, it's full coverage, and I think that's why I've been loving it more and more the more I use it. At first I wasn't like a big fan of it, um, but now I actually really, really love it. So I'm just gonna take some and just conceal with this. And this brush is a flat brush from Morphe, and this is the M432 brush. I actually use this brush to um, clean out my brows. And it's like perfect for it so I'm gonna and I'm also gonna take some on the top of my lip just to highlight that area and my nose and my chin and then for the nose I'm gonna just do like that so I think I put a lot but it's okay it's okay I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm just gonna start blending this all in like so and also on my eyelids to cover the dark circles even though that foundation covered it I still cover my eyelids so then you know the color matching can come on together so then it doesn't look off why is my under eye so bright and then my eyelids is a little too dark <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and contour and I'm just going to use the concealer for this. Ooh, I'm telling y'all, this concealer a little does go a long way with this. So you don't need to put too much. Oh god, that was too much. See what I mean? I kind of wish the packaging was a little different. I kind of do. So I'm going to take just a flat brush and this is Zova uh, 237 detailed shaper brush. <laughs> and I'm just going to use this to contour my nose. This is like the slimmest brush that I have to do this with, so... And that nose, that nose about to look snapped. That nose about to look snapped. <laughs> so I'm going to take my bead blender and start blending this concealer in and start warming up my skin. I think this is my favorite part, is this part, contouring, foundation, highlighting, concealing. Like, that is just my favorite part of a foundation routine. I feel like you will see a difference um, if you learn the proper way of how to highlight and contour. Y'all see how warm my skin just looked? Like, we looked so bronze, so freaking warm. Wow. So for the nose, I'm gonna grab this beautiful brush. I will leave the details of this brush in the description box. Y'all, this brush is amazing, especially for nose contour. It's so tiny, and it's gonna be able to help you blend that contour out. I'm telling y'all, this is like the best brush I've ever had. And I'm not just saying that, I'm really, really for real. So check the description box for this brush. If you have been looking for a contour, nose contour brush, I think this is perfect. So for under eye setting powder, I'm going to use this Mented Loose Setting Powder in the shade Light Tan. So if you are not aware, Mented did come out with like setting loose powders and y'all... I love them. I love them. <laughs> Again, Mented has not come out with anything that I don't like. They, their products is like 
amazing, 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 amazing. So I've been loving this setting powder. Actually, it's not even a setting powder for under eye. You could use it as that, and you can also use it all over your face. But I like to use this underneath my eyes, and I did get two other darker shades. So I like this better for the under eye. So I'm just going to pop this on the under eye like so. And I usually like my under eye to be a little bit brighter. And I also love um, when people's under eye looks bright and it's set really, really smooth. So what I do is I get a beauty blender that's already damped and I just set my under eye like this. I don't let it sit and bake at all. I just like press it into my skin and that's how I get that, you know, bright under eye kind of thing going on. Y'all see what I mean? Just set it like that and it looks so freaking flawless. So I don't feel like setting my whole entire face. I am going to set where I contoured and I'm going to grab this Milani um, Sun Drenched uh, Bronzer Powder, you guys. And this is in the shade 04. You know what's crazy? I did not think Milani had a bronzer that's you know my skin tone women of color until I got my hands on this and I was like this is such a beautiful bronzer y'all it is so gorgeous it's a little bit red but not like extreme red um, but it's so beautiful you guys I'm just taking my uh, Zova what is this 127 Lux uh, cheek brush and this is perfect to set your bronzer, your contour. I usually love my bronzer brushes to be a little bit flat and not rounded. Um, I just prefer something like that because I feel like it gives me more of a look. And also underneath my neck, my chin. Alright, face is done, y'all. I'm going to jump into the eyes. So, for the eyes, I am going to grab this Bold and Sexy um, eyeshadow palette from Black Radiance. Now, I totally forgot. I did tell myself I'm going to use this lovely shade right here to contour and um, the eyeshadows as well. But I forgot and I just looked at the Milani powder and I was like, let's just set my bronzer with that. But we might go over it a little bit with this just to darken this uh, bronzer up because Milani is not like super, super dark. So that's what we're going to do. And I think I'm going to grab this shade right here for the cheeks. Let me see actually, because they're like two beautiful shades. This is a little too bright and this is so subtle. So I'm going to grab this shade right here and this is called Get Cheeky. So I'm going to just grab a little bit. It's very pigment and I'm going to use this, what is this, Sigma uh, Spotlight Duster Brush and this is F37. I'm just going to... Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is so pretty though. So for the eyes, I'm going to try to stick to only using this palette today. Um, I am going to grab, see they don't have like the perfect transition shade that I'm trying to go for, for the outfit that I'm trying to wear today. So I'm going to grab this orange eyeshadow, it's like the lightest orange, and just tap off the excess. The eyeshadows are super, super small. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to start using this into my crease. Actually, I'm going to change the brush. Yep, that's what I'm going to do because I think that brush was dirty. Uh, yes, it was. I'm going to grab this Morphe M441 brush and just start working this into the crease. I thought this eyeshadow would be like super orange, but it's actually not. Once you start working it all over the eyelid, it's not too, too orange. Nice. I'm going to do, just do the same thing to this eye. I don't know what look I'm going to go for. All I know is I want to match with my outfit today. So we're going to have to just wing this. And this is a fall glam. So we have to make this glam fall and still match with my gorgeous outfit today. So pretty. I'm going to take the same eyeshadow and just work it under my water lash line. But I really love this eyeshadow. It's really nice and pigment. You can see it. It's blending really, really nice. But it is a tad bit dust. Did y'all see that? But this eyeshadow is a tad bit dusty, in my opinion. Okay, so I'm going to grab this brown shade right here and just work this on my outer corner. Tell y'all, this eyeshadow is a little too dusty. Okay? 
I don't know how I feel about it, um, but we're just going to keep going. And I'm just going to blend this in here. And I'm using this Morphe M433 brush. This is flat and it's able to like get into my eye crease a little bit better. And I'm also going to take that eyeshadow and bring it up a little bit. Just the, le the leftover. I am liking the eyeshadow, y'all. So it's a good palette. It's a good palette. I'm going to go back into that first brush. I'm just going to blend so I don't have any harsh lines and everything is looking perfect. Okay. You guys, I have a phone call that I have to do here in a little bit. But every time, I swear, every time the person calls, I miss it. Every time I call them back, they miss it. So it's like we're playing phone tag right now. That, that gets so annoying. I'm going to take that eyeshadow and just work it under my water lash line like so. There you go, that's pretty. So I think I'm going to mess with like this gold and also this one next to it. This one is not like, I don't know how to explain it. But I'm probably going to just like mess with these two eyeshadows together, see what's going to do, how it's going to look. I'm excited to try it. So I'm going to take this gold and this is called Sun Kissed and just work this on my eyelid first. Alright, yep, y'all, this palette is bomb. <laughs> It's affordable and it's bomb. So I'm going to take Tempting. I'm nervous it's going to have a little bit of fallout. And I'm just going to just press this on top of the eyelids as well. I'm going to go back to that brown eyeshadow and just start working this on my outer V to blend everything in on the outer corner. Make it a little smoky. Just take that eyeshadow like so. So in this palette, they got like two highlighters. And I'm so debating whether to rock these highlighters or not. I think I might. And if it's not screaming, because y'all know, y'all know I love a glow. I love a super highlighted face. <laughs> so if this is not playing the game that I needed to play, we're going to switch up the highlighter. So I think I'm going to grab both highlighters. Okay, so this is called Glow Off and then the other one is called Bronzer. I am just going to mix them two together. Tab off the excess. And... Oh! Wait a minute! <laughs> wait a minute, dab. Black Radiance, what's going on? This is how you're supposed to pull out a highlighter. This is so bomb. What? See, when I swatched them, I wasn't feeling the highlighter, but once it's on my face, it's melting into my skin. It looks good. We look glowed, okay? We look so darn glowed up. So the eyes are almost done, you guys. For eyeliner, I'm going to grab this NARS High Pigment Long Wear Eyeliner. This is the brown, but this brown has a little bit of shimmer to it. I'm going to just work this on my lower lash line. Before I pop my lashes on, you guys, I haven't used this luminous, uh, Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist in a long time. So that's what I'm going to use today. I forgot about the inner corner, you guys. I'm going to take this beautiful gold and pop that bad boy in here. Ugh. Oh, this palette is playing too damn much of my emotions. Oh my gosh, this palette is gorgeous. I end up grabbing this bronzer right here. It's called Give Shape. Yeah, Give Shape. <laughs> I had to look at it again. It's a little darker than that Milani. Just to darken my contour up a little bit. So to bring my lashes out and about, I'm going to grab this Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Y'all, let me just, till this day, I don't understand why Too Faced named this kit mascara better than sex mascara. Till this day. Does anybody know? And if you know, let me know in the comment section because I want to know why. Why did they name it like that? What is the point of naming it like that? <laughs> I'll bring my lashes out a little bit. I gotta make the most ugliest face when I do this part because it is just, ugh. I wish my lashes were like super long so I don't have to wear lashes. Ooh. Can y'all believe me when I say I don't have any more lashes? Can y'all believe that? I'm running low on lashes. Like, I'm all the way low. At this point, I'm re-wearing lashes. Like, I've probably rocked this once, 
ten times now. I could you not. It's so sad. And these are cocoa lashes, you guys, in Goddess. Then we're just gonna press my natural lashes with the falsies. Make sure they're stuck together and not going anywhere. So because I want to rock this Miley, Miley, what? Wow. Because I want to rock this Milani liquid lipstick in the shade Magnificent, I don't have a lip liner close. I don't have a lip liner that's close to this shade. So what I'm gonna do is take the Kylie lip pencil in the shade True Brown K and just get us a lip liner with this. Oh, I hate Kylie's lip pencils. Look at this. What is this? Like somebody needs to explain to me what just, what is that? So pretty, I'm gonna take this liquid lipstick. And just work this on my lips. Last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and take this Too Faced setting spray and set my whole face. So, this is it for the makeup, okay? It looks so good. I actually love how the Black Radiance eyeshadow palette is looking. I kind of wish I used this as a bronzer instead of the Milani because I knew how the Milani looks on my skin. I just didn't know how this one would look and I just forgot all about it. But overall, y'all, I love how the makeup turned out. Very, very fall vibes. We got the golds, we got the bronzy golds going on. Um, and obviously, the dark lip. And this Milani Magnificent uh, liquid lipstick is like one of my favorites. Actually, all of the liquid lipsticks on Milani um, Cosmetics line, they're bomb. They are bomb. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the outfit. I'm sure you guys wanna see what I'm about to rock. Okay, I'm excited. Um, so yeah, let's go. Let's go. Just come. All right, my baby, so it's time for the outfit. And yes, I wanted to stroke a little walk for you guys, but I wanted to show you guys the purse, and this purse is from Fashion Nova. Actually, the whole entire outfit is from Fashion Nova, except the shoes, believe it or not. I will leave the link to everything in the description box, but this purse is the cutest eight-year-old purse I have ever owned, okay? <laughs> and for the skirt, I have seen a lot of people wear this skirt. It's like a little cute trend that goes around every freaking fall, and I've seen it in the summer too, so I decided to get my hands on it this fall and I am so in love with it it is an extra small but I have a super small waist and this fits me super super nice you guys oh I can't even deal yes honey give them a little twirl <laughs> oh she cute uh, so for the heels you guys I got these heels from H&M and they fit pretty snug um, a lot of heels I cannot fit even if it's a five five and a half they're still pretty loose these ones fit really really nice and I so love it and for the jewelry um, um, if you guys do not know, I never rock jewelry ever, not even on my neck or my wrist or anything like that. But I decided to rock a little cute jewelry from H&M as well. Um, and also for the blouse, I also got this blouse from, from Fashion Nova. Like I just told you guys, I got the whole entire fit from Fashion Nova, you guys. Um, I did get this in a small, but it is a little too loose. But nonetheless, I liked it. It was nice and snug for the fall. Um, so this is it for this look, this whole glam. I hope you guys enjoyed it as you. I love y'all so so much. Subscribe if you're new. Now I'm Pendasana and I'll see you guys in my next video.